This is for the Huntley College of Ag graduating class of 2020. First, let me tell you, I'm sorry you've had to go through these disruptions, and I can't even imagine how disappointed you are about the postponement of commencement. Please don't let this take away from what you've achieved. You're getting your bachelor's degree. What a tremendous accomplishment that only one out of three adults in this country has. You are a group of passionate and dedicated people, and I know you'll go on to have fulfilling and impactful careers. Please stay in touch with your Huntley College of Ag family, because we want to hear about how you're making the world a better place. Go Broncos! I'd have to say my favorite memory at Cal Poly Pomona has been working for the Veterans Resource Center. I came in as a transfer and in my third year, I was able to work for the center and meet a bunch of wonderful people, um, especially uh, the person who I'm most grateful to at Cal Poly is Elkie, my boss. She has always been there to help me no matter what and even staying after hours to help me with um, emails for my internship, whatever it is, she's always been there. So thank you. And thank you to Cal Poly for a great time. The best memory at CBB is the winning of Turbo with my teammates. One of my most cherished moments here uh, was winning the collegiate turf bowl competition, which I couldn't have done without the turf team, the advisors and the master's students. So I just want to give a big thanks to them all. My favorite CPV memory is when we went to the Magnolia Bird Farm. It taught me that I am petrified of birds and that I do not want to work for them in my career. But it also taught me that as a vet tech, I have to be quick on my toes. My favorite memory at Cal Poly Pomona is when I'm a paradiser and be able to teach the FYE class along with the professor. It gave me the opportunity to learn how to do public speaking, how to run a class, and be able to help my peer as well. I will definitely miss Cal Poly Pomona a lot when I graduate. A favorite memory of mine would be doing full watch because it's just an experience I'll never forget. Being able to see my full being born, it just reminds me of how much I love animals and want to do animal education and conservation work. One of the most memorable encounters I've had at Cal Poly was one with one of my counselors. I was going through a really rough time this one semester and I had sent him an email telling him that if I do not get into this class, it would be the end of it for me. Now that was a little dramatic, but that's really how I felt during the time. So he called me into his office just to make sure everything was okay and just reassured me that I was gonna get through this. Ever since then, I knew that I could do it. I just wanted to share a few things that I'm really grateful for in Cal Poly. In uh, 2017, I got to be a resident advisor for the Summer Bridge Program for, for EOP. And then in 2018, I was a champion, a student leader also for Summer Bridge. And currently right now, I'm a resident advisor for the University Village. And I bring up all these opportunities because it really provided an outlet for me to grow as a leader and a place for me to to really share the, the little knowledge that I can with, with um, you know, the first year students and it's really been insightful for me. And for all this, I'm really grateful. A particular moment would actually be joining the PMA program that I did in the summer of last year. Um, it actually opened up some doors and made some great connections. And, um, you know, it made me decide where I wanted to go in my career choice, which is the produce industry. Um, and I'd like to thank uh, Katie Horvath for driving us down there and um, establishing the whole thing and getting us to know more of the industry. Thanks guys. One of the things I love about Cal Poly Pomona is that regardless of who you are, what stage of your life you're in, or what major you're in, you can always find someone to feel connected to. You're never really alone. I want to thank my amazing advisors, Dr. Bonnie Burns Whitmore and Dr. Marcus Elam for advising me and helping me figure out what I wanted to do with my career. And I also want to thank my amazing professors, Dr. David Edens and Dr. Diane Trin for teaching me and giving me all this valuable information that I could use in the future for my own career. Thank you. I like to thank my family, especially those who helped me with childcare and other things. I also, especially my husband, who put up with me for going to school for four years. Thanks, honey. Love you. I just want to thank everybody who has helped me, who has pushed me or motivated me to just help me with my long-term goals. 
I didn't know there was a lot of people that were as passionate as I am about horticulture plants. So knowing that I have people to lean on, faculty members who are eager to teach you, that's just a blessing in itself. So I just want to thank everybody who has been a part of my life. So yeah, thanks. I would like to thank all the faculty and staff of the College of Agriculture, the generous donor from the College in the industry. Um, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank my family. Um, they've always supported me in uh, pursuing my career. And I'd also like to especially thank my parents who've been role models for me in attaining their higher education. I would like to give a huge thank you to my wonderful parents, professors, friends, mentors, IHSA members and fellow peer advisors for helping and supporting me through these four years at Cal Poly Pomona. There are so many people that I would like to thank. I would like to thank Professor Tracy Takeuchi. She has always been there for me. Dr. Fox, Dr. Milano, Dr. Soper, Tammy. There have been so many times that I've barged into both Tammy and Dr. Soper's office and I'm like, help, there's something wrong, my classes, my life, I don't know what's going on, can you please help me? And they were there and they helped me pick it back up and get it going. So I am forever grateful to each and every one of you and I don't know where I would be without all of you. Thank you.